Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Swan Song campaign. It's been a while uh, since we have dabbled into the universe of Squ Swan Song on Battletech. It is time for retaliation, which actually is a retaliation mission. Surprise, surprise. Attack and defend. That is a difficult mission type. It takes quite a while, but Tundra is a good biome for it. Now I'm wondering if we want to go with full loot or if we want to get some cash and some loot. Hmm, it's a difficult choice. The attack and defend mission is uh, requiring you to take out quite a lot of enemy mechs. So there is a high chance that we're actually going to see some really, really nice loot. But there is also a high chance that we're only seeing like small mechs. But that's okay, I suppose. Might as well grab a lot of weapons. So, my only concern is that the Griffin, no, not even the Griffin, the Centurion, might run out of ammunition. But we got quite a few packs, so let's give it a try and see how well <clears throat> the whole thing is going to turn out. Good, let's begin this mission. Typically, we need to defend a base and at the same time attack another base. Problem with that is, unless you're heavily, heavily outscaling the enemies, the massive amount of enemies that are dropping on your position is enough to keep you more out. than busy. So our base is here. We apparently got a few towers for. And yeah, the first wave's already coming. Three additional waves are coming at least. There's maybe even more. So maybe we're fighting against two waves and then the three additional ones are going to come. In order to make up for that, you can see all of the enemies seem to be small mechs. So that is something. Holding for a tactical advantage. Let's use our towers. Typically, they do have some sort, I was about to say, some sort of. Standing by. Some sort of scanning capability. Uh, yep. Good. Hogbite should move yep, last. That is a really bad shot. Hmm. Don't like it. Commander. Good. On my way. Vindicator moves up. We are seeing numerous of the enemies being incredibly evasive. I'll just use lasers in order to not waste any ammunition. Luckily, that was a single hit. Two hits, actually. And the flea is taking damage. Fantastic. Ready to rock. All right, Tigan begins to move up. We can precision strike. Let's not waste our LBXs. Fantastic. Good. Bye bye. That's why we're not riding a flea or a locust. Good to go. Those are living uh, sarcophaguses if you are being trapped in one. Okay, we're just using one medium laser and a few LRMs. I don't want to waste a lot of uh, them. Fantastic. All right, Griffin moves up. I will keep the SRMs for now. Engaging target. And just nicely hitting that locust. Yeah, we got one down. That locust here will not survive. That was a huge mistake to use melee combat. Damage. Some damage, but yeah, 
not noticeable. Taking minimal damage. You know, that guy also wants to die. Commando actually might punch a bigger hole. Careful here. And that's where the first pack of reinforcements Commander. is showing up. So Vindicator moves over. Let's just use the 70%. We don't need a precise shot yet, but that should be plenty to Targeting kill the locust. No retreat. Target neutralized. Good, so that guy is taken out. Indicator takes just a tiny bit of damage, maybe a damage medium mech. Who knows? Blackjack. Um, I mean, you know, that one here wouldn't be too bad. Hogbite with the rear shot. On that locust. I figured. All right, fantastic. That's two down. What are your orders, Skipper? Affirmative, Commander. That's a good time to use some of our ammunition. Fifty percent, not optimal. Let's maybe not use that yet. And let's go for some vigilance because I could see that Tigan is being the main target. Firing. Mana yeah. takes damage, which is fine. And we're in small laser range. So what we're going to do is we're actually saving our we're actually saving our LRMs. I gotta remember that Mox now has multi-target. Could have used it to get rid of some of the evasion blips. But yeah. Small lasers and medium lasers. Just to get that uh, commando worked up. Our towers help us a lot, as the commando will take even more damage. Skipper. The Tigan and the Blackjack moves in, precision strike from behind, this time with the LBX. And let's, let's get this guy down. This. There we go. Good job, Tigan. Sort of exposed the back, but not too bad. We're just keeping everything on reserve. So far, the first pack has worked surprisingly well. Riffman moves up. Again, we don't need our uh, short range missiles awaiting orders indicator moves up nicely into cover yeah and 60 percent i think uh, thanks, but no thanks. I'll be passing on this opportunity. On my way. It's potentially another enemy there. 
Still got plenty of rockets. Might as well give it the LRM 50 plus plus. Because that still deals quite a bit of damage. Hot damn, let's do this! And once the locust is unsteady, cannot run anymore. Alright. That's a medium mech. We're getting closer to the enemy. What are your orders, Skipper? Tigan. Ready for order. No, that's I would like to get the other uh, one inside. On the move. All right, Shadowhawk it is. Fantastic. Shadowhawk has decent chances of uh, being hit. Might as well completely unload with a really nice central uh, torso fire. That was a great hit. Confirmed. Time for a multi shot. No problem. That is A, and this guy here has a B. Let's go. The beauty of the LRM 15s. Look at that. Look, it's also taking some damage. Thirty-five percent isn't very good. But I mean it's better than nothing. I'm not going to waste rockets on the locust. But the medium lasers definitely could uh, could help here. That's thirty percent. And that is not too bad either. Taking the LBX-10 out. And Locus just lost half of uh, the of offensive potential. Our turrets are out of range. But we're doing regularly uh, fine. Locus here. Yeah, we'll just try to dish out some damage. The more important part is that the Shadowhawk goes falling. down. Can always Standing take by. care of the locust later. Hey, yo. Waiting for orders. Good. Another good well, multi shot. And this should do. Fantastic. Bad guy is down. And the locust takes aye, aye. more damage. Moving up. Precision strike. We don't need the SRM for that. Saving some Target rockets off. because this is going to be a long fight. Roger that, Commander. Back check moves up. We'll just take a couple of shots. And that's that. Okay, apparently. Down. I was wrong. Apparently, last time. I've done a admirable job. In actually getting everything down. So much so that we do have three rounds left to destroy that sinkhole here. Commander. And get back. Move order confirmed. Good time to cool down. And really get into position. 
Commander. Something I can do. Yeah, I think we're just going to stay here for now. Two more rounds until reinforcements arrive. Awaiting orders. Copy that. Communicator moves in. Let's give it a bit more defense. Lots of AC2s here, but our lasers will be plentiful and can take that guy out. Brought it down, Commander. Ready to rock. Right here. So we're looking at 45 hit points, 6 times 15, that would be 90 hit points, so that is good. Which means this here should do. One down, and the other one should be heavily injured. Nope, even down, even better. Got him. Okay, gotta be careful not to waste too much ammunition. Like I said, this here is potentially going to take a little bit longer. 75 hit points. Gotta only hit two out of uh, these. No, 50 is not enough. All right, let's rather be safe than sorry. Back check moves in. And we got one more round. I already see that the hostiles are now approaching. Yep, which means commander. let's take the guy with the lasers and deal with this situation here. Moving to position. Because that is consistent damage every single round. Engaging target. Charging in with Blackjack. Yeah. What can I do you for? Charging in with the Centurion. And charging in with the Griffin. So we're into uh, in a three versus four scenario, but we got the towers on our side. Again, they are dropping Commander. super small horses. Affirmative. 150 hit points. That's 100. Nope, not enough. You know what? Let's kill this guy. Target destroyed. All right, two more buildings to go, and that is fine. Blackjack. Now we're just reserving and waiting for a sensor lock from our towers. Standing by. Come on, sensor lock. Nothing, really. All right, okay. Blackjack moves in. Fully unloading onto the urban mech. Not because the Urbi is the most dangerous one, but mainly because it is the easiest to hit here. Receiving you. Copy 
All right, we do have 240 left over. That is fine. The mech takes quite a bit of stability damage and normal damage. That's good. That locus here loses its negative damage. Its defense as well. That was the worst target to sensor lock, by the way. Like literally out of all of the targets that you could have chosen, that was the worst. All right. Fully unloading onto the urban mech. Enemy mech. Critical damage Time for that guy to go down and maybe the tower will finish it. Who knows? All right, at least one down, so that makes it a three versus three. Keep in mind, they can act first. Our structures might take some damage unless they decide to go for us. Now they are going for the towers. Our additional target to keep all of the friendly structures alive just went down the drain. Yeah, and one of them tries their luck with distracting us. Okay. Aye, aye. Target confirmed. All right, small building collapses. Got one more building to go. All day. Uh, yep. Yeah. Fantastic. That will be a good position. Moving, Moving the position. Centurion up here. And that Locust potentially will die. Unsteady. Okay, let's wait for the towers. Standing by. Ready to rock. All right, the Griffin could move up and effectively attack this guy. Fantastic. With the small laser on top, also reduces its defense further. Skipper. Yeah, let's go and try to hit this guy here. Because the other one is not shooting our buildings at this point. Wonderful. Enemy eliminated. Got that leaves one locust. Yeah, the other one essentially just gave up and accepted his fate. Sniper turret is almost down. Let's yeah, yeah let's wait for the sensor locks. That's good. That worked out well. Standing by. Good. Roger One that. last attack. And this and moderate permanent. structure is gone.
We could get out of here. Oh, I see. I never uh, knew that because normally you're you're not as fast and you cannot really dis uh, destroy um, the enemy structure all too well. Normally additional reinforcement waves will be coming in, but apparently you can stop that by actually <clears throat> destroying the enemy base. Okay, fantastic. I usually did that after all of the enemies came. Which is also why we've been so careful with our ammunition and so on. But to be honest, it's not the end of the world uh, not to fight all of these guys. Faster than expected, a bit faster than expected. And I learned something important today, which is the attack and defense missions can be essentially circumvented by uh, attacking. I typically prioritize defense over attacking in my thousand hours with the game. I have never attacked uh, beforehand. But yeah, you can... The disadvantages were not getting all of the cash bonus, which we elsewhere would. The advantage, however, is we... Uh, left without damaged mechs. Let's take a look what we could uh, loot. Well, I already mentioned it was very likely that we're going to run into a lot of poor mechs. Got a Shadowhawk part, which is great. Would have been even better if we got more than one. I don't feel like taking any of those small mechs. The commando is okay. Locust, just to complete the set. Really not good. Most of the stuff is really not good. We take an MG because apparently they are rare and we tend to not find them in shops. Good, got some weapons and that's all okay. We still got 8 million worth of loot, so it's not really not the end of the world. I potentially should have made it kind of half-half instead of going all in uh, with the salvage here. Fantastic. So we got a locust. Guess what? Sent directly to storage. And we're doing the same with the commando. Fantastic. Good, which brings us to experience. Standing by. Good to go. Receiving you. Aye, aye. Skipper. Training complete. Tygen gets some extra skills. That's fantastic. And Hogbite already has like two of those uh, main skills. That's great as well. Potentially going to upgrade gunnery next. Because that is helpful. And of course, going for that ace pilot here. Okay, that brings us to the end of today's episode. A shorter one than I expected, but still 30 minutes. So that was a good one. We're going to continue with a flashpoint in our next episode. So stay tuned and I wish you a great day. Take care and see you in two days. Bye bye.